Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. And for this one, we're going to be doing something highly requested from you guys. It's a body brightening routine. So I've noticed na marami sa community natin, ang skin concern nila when it comes sa body is, gusto nilang ipantay yung skin tone nila. Whether na darken yung elbows or knees ninyo, even the underarm area, as well as in general, kunyari nag beach ka, tapos medyo na tan yung skin mo, kasi medyo nagbilad ka sa araw. So this is what you call discoloration, or umibay yung kulay ng skin mo from your original skin tone. And the answer to this is actually not to whiten your skin kasi kung iisipin ninyo, hindi naman white yung original skin tone nating lahat. Instead, ang gusto natin gawin is to lighten or brighten those discolored areas para pumantay yung skin tone natin altogether. So in this video, we will be discussing why different areas of our body get dark kasi iba-ibang reasons yan depending on the part of the body. And also, pag-uusapan din natin yung mga products na pwede nyong gamitin to target get those discolored areas specifically. So that being said, wala nang any-any, let's start with our body brightening routine. Alright, so as with any body care routine, we of course start with our body cleanser. And sa Pilipinas, when it comes to body brightening, ang unang iniisip ng napakaraming tao is walang katapusang Kojic soap. Aminin ninyo. Now like I always say, especially dun sa video ko about bar soaps in general, if Kojic soap works for you, go ahead. Wala namang pumipigil sa inyo. But for some people, especially for those na sensitive or dry yung skin nila, nagiging masyadong drying yung Kojic soap on their skin, which actually causes their skin to get more easily irritated. And as we know, isa sa mga responses ng skin natin kapag nai-irritate siya is, nagpo-produce siya ng more melanin or yung dark pigment na nagda-darken ng skin natin. So that's why kapag binabrighten talaga natin yung body natin, it's better to avoid cleansers or soaps with harsh, irritating, or drying ingredients and instead, choose cleansers na merong gentle cleansing agents. And if not Kojic soap, in my opinion, one of the best products to use sa body natin to support brightening, especially if ang issue ninyo is yung mga acne marks sa chest or sa back ninyo, it's definitely going to be an exfoliating body wash with salicylic acid. So this one that I have here is from Derm A. This is their acne body wash. And ito rin yung ginamit ko sa shower before ko sinimulan tong video na to. Na ito, na-feature ko na to doon sa best body care products in Watson's na video ko. I did specifically recommend this as a good body wash for acne-prone skin sa chest or sa back because it does have the ingredient salicylic acid. And as we know, salicylic acid is a great supporting ingredient for those na merong acne-prone skin, whether sa face or sa body. Now just a disclaimer, kung yung acne ninyo sa chest or sa back is yung malala na talaga as in sobrang dami niya na. The first thing na kailangan meron nyo talaga sa routine nyo are going to be acne medications. As in yung gamot talaga guys na prescribed ng doctor or ng dermatologist para talaga tuluyan ang mawala yung acne ninyo. And then kapag meron na kayong gamot for your acne, that's when you should look for products like this because yung mga ingredients like salicylic acid can also help improve the results that you'll get from your acne medications. Ang salicylic acid kasi like I did say in my previous videos, it goes deep into our pores to an clog it of excess oil as well as yung mga dead skin cells. Now, yun yung function ng salicylic acid na alam ng marami but what a lot of people don't know is actually, salicylic acid can also help as a supporting ingredient when you want to brighten your skin. The reason being, ang salicylic acid kasi keratolytic siya. And I know, medyo big word, pero ang ibig sabihin lang nun is, it helps dissolve yung outer layer ng skin cells natin para hindi niya nakaklog yung pores. Second from that, as we all know, salicylic acid also does have anti-inflammatory properties, which is a really good thing when it comes to skin brightening because, ayun nga, yung inflammation causes our skin to darken. So, we want to avoid it. Ako personally, guys, how I use this product is, iniiwan ko siya sa body ko for one minute for the salicylic acid to really sink in sa skin ko. And then after that, dun ko siya wina-wash off. Pero dahil nga ginamit ko na to sa shower kanina, hindi ko na siya ipapakita sa inyo. But if you do want a more detailed and in-depth review of this, I will link you to the video kung saan ko siya ni-review here. Alright, and now na tapos na tayo mag-body wash or mag- lens ng katawan. Let's now move on to our next step, which are our leave-on brightening products. And itong next step natin, it's going to depend on the specific parts of your body na gusto nyong i-brighten. So first off, let's start with one of the most popular concerns when it comes to body brightening, and that is with our underarms. And itong next step na gagawin ko, actually para siyang skincare hack na na-discover ko. So as some of you guys know, yung pag-darken ng underarms natin, isa sa mga pinaka-common na reasons niya is what dermatologists call 
call post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now again, sa mga beginners na hindi naman sobrang maalam sa skincare, I know medyo big word siya. Pero in very simple terms, ang meaning lang nito is after mamaga or ma-irritate ng skin ninyo, nagda-darken yung skin as a response. So again guys, gaya nga ng sabi ko kanina, to prevent yung lalong pag-darken ng area na to, you have to prevent products that can potentially irritate yung underarm area natin. That includes mga deodorants na hindi kayo hiyang or na-irritate or nangangate yung skin ninyo kapag ina-apply nyo siya. As well as yung mga scrubs or loofahs and of course, yung mga soap products or mga cleansing products na very drying and harsh sa skin. Na ako dati, nung gusto kong i-brighten yung underarms ko, actually yung ginagamit ko was yung brightening serum na ginagamit ko sa face ko. Pero nanotice ko kasi kapag naglalagay ako ng serum sa underarms ko, parang ang tagal niyang mag-absorb, parang basa siya for a long time. So, kailangan ko pa siyang paypayin or parang antayin na mag-absorb yung product or else, kapag nagsuot ako ng t-shirt, magmamarka siya. So, I found a solution to this with a skincare product na actually meron ko na. So, instead of using a serum, what I instead use for my underarms for brightening is a gentle brightening toner mist. Toner mist or toner spray, basta yung meron siyang ganito. And yes, for those na matagal nang nanonood ng mga videos ko, this product may look familiar to you. It is from the brand Dermo Republic. It's their Alpha Arbutin Plus Tranexamic Acid Toner. And ito actually, na-mention ko rin siya doon sa video ko on the best products to fade dark spots. And na-mention ko na I love this product because sa spray mo lang siya na ganyan. Very convenient siya. And I know kapag zinom in mo siya dito sa label na to, it does say whitening but like I always say sa mga videos ko, this is a bit inaccurate. The reason being, yung alpha arbutin and tranexamic acid kasi they don't really make your skin white. Ang ginagawa lang niya is pinapantay niya yung skin tone mo or in-even out niya yung skin tone mo. And speaking of ingredients, aside from yung 2% alpha arbutin and 3% tranexamic acid nito, this also does have 3% niacinamide and licorice root extract. All of those ingredients are great to gently brighten the skin without irritating it. So this one, is spray ko lang siya ng mga three times dito sa underarm area ko. Diyan naman tayo sa other side. One, two, three. And then what I do is gently pinapat ko lang yung product to make sure na nag-spread talaga siya around my underarms. And actually, another really nice thing about this product is since pwede mo nga siya gamitin sa face mo for yung mga dark spots mo na galing sa acne, that means pwede mo rin ito gamitin dun sa chest and sa back area mo kung dun ka nagkakaroon ng mga acne marks. This will help fade those. Kasi acne marks natin, those are also considered as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation kasi of course, yung pimple natin na magasha and then after, nag-darken yung skin as a response. And another thing that's considered hyperpigmentation is kapag nagtan ka sa araw or nagka-sunburn ka sa araw then after, nag-darken yung skin mo. So actually, ito, you can also use this dito sa neck area ninyo as well as dito sa mga arms ninyo. If you want them na pumantay sa mga parts ng body ninyo na hindi nabilad sa araw, then this one is a great solution na very lightweight din especially sa summer, ayaw natin ng sobrang parang malalagkit ng mga products. So, napakaganda and napaka-convenient ng option na to and galing pa sa local brand. So, itong next step natin is for those who like to do their body care routine at night or for those who like to use a thicker body lotion. And this next step or next product is actually best for those na yun nga, yung sinabi natin kanina, medyo nagtan yung skin nila, maybe yung neck, yung arms, or yung legs. And kasama na rin dito yung merong mga acne marks sa chest and sa back. So, kung sa morning or sa daytime, the best option is itong spray or mist toner kasi napaka lightweight niya. Sa nighttime naman, lalo na kung babad kayo sa aircon, another really good option is an exfoliating body lotion. So itong gagamitin ko is another product that I've mentioned before. This is Quick FX Sera Boost Bye Bye Bumps Lotion. And actually, ito very accessible din siya. You can find it at Watson's or mga SM department stores. And in fact, ito na-mention ko rin to doon sa best body care products from Watson's na video ko. And like I also did mention sa video na yon, this is also great for those na merong mga parang pache pache ng bumps dito sa area ng braso nila. That's usually what you would call keratosis pilaris or KP. And yung mga lotions like these, yung mga active ingredients niya, nakakatulong yon to help with that condition. Itong lotion kasi na to, yung active ingredients niya are alpha hydroxy acids or AHAs like glycolic acid and lactic acid. And yon they exfoliate the skin while hydrating it at the same time 
which can be helpful for yung mga patche patche na bumps or again, sabi nga natin, yung KP. But aside from that, another really nice benefit of glycolic acid and lactic acid is dahil nga exfoliants siya, nakaka-brighten din siya ng skin. It does that by removing yung top layer ng skin natin in which usually doon mo makikita yung pigment. Other than that, kapag meron kang sunspots sa body mo, glycolic acid has also been known to help in fading those sunspots. So this is really best for those na kunyari nang galing ka talaga sa beach trip and alam mong nagbilad ka talaga sa araw and sobrang feeling mo na sun damaged yung skin mo, this is one of those best products to use for aftercare. But I do have to say though, huwag mo siyang gamitin habang nai-irritate pa yung skin mo kasi nga exfoliant yung mga ingredients nito. So lalo na kung na sunburn ka, wait for your skin to calm down first. Yung hindi mo na siya namumula, hindi siya humahapde, and hindi siya yung parang galit na galit na kahit anong ilagay mo, masakit or humahapde siya. Now this one actually guys, ginagamit ko siya siguro mga a week after my beach trips. Ginagamit ko muna yung spray toner sa mga parts ng body ko na feeling ko nagdarken. And then a week after, what I'll do is mga MWF, ilalagay ko to right after I shower. As in actually ito guys, nilalagay ko siya dun sa shower area ko talaga para right after mag-shower ako, medyo damp or parang medyo basa-basa pa yung skin ko, I put this lotion right away. And what that does is it seals in the hydration sa skin mo so it helps rebuild and repair your skin barrier. But at the same time, it helps the exfoliants absorb more efficiently. Now this one, I would really put it all over my body, pati sa chest and sa back ko after ko mag-shower. Pero ang isang ina-avoid ko talaga is ilagay ito sa underarms ko kasi nga exfoliant pa rin to kahit pa paano. Kahit pa sabihin mo na hindi naman siya yung parang sobrang lakas na blend ng exfoliants, ito kasi leave-on product siya. So medyo gusto ko pa rin maging sigurista when it comes to my underarms. Kasi yung skin din natin dito, magkaiba siya dun sa skin ng underarms natin. Yung underarms natin medyo mas sensitive siya. Pero yung area na to, medyo mas kaya niya ng iba't ibang mga products talaga. But now na fully absorbed na yung body lotion natin, can now move on to the next step. So this next step is for those na ang concern nila and very common to guys is dark yung elbows nila or yung knee area nila. Na itong elbows and knees natin guys, actually medyo naiiba to compared dun sa mga kaninang pinag-usapan natin na nagda-darken na areas kasi medyo iba yung causes niya. Pero discuss muna natin kung paano siya nangyayari. So usually yung most common cause ng pag-darken ng elbows and knees is a condition called fades or frictional asymptomatic darkening of the extensor surfaces. And I know, again, very big words na naman yung mga sinabi ko sa inyo, but don't worry because I will explain it in simple terms. So very simply explained, yung fades is pag-darken ng elbows and ng knees natin as a response kapag lagi nitong na-experience ang stress and friction. So for example, sa school or sa work, laging nakapatong yung kamay mo dito sa desk or sa office chair mo or kung saan man. Or kunyari, meron kang workout na siguro palagi nakangud-mood yung elbow mo dun sa sahig or kung saan man. And even sa knees, kunyari, nakaluhod ka hindi ko alam kung bakit ka lagi nakaluhod. Siguro physical labor or again, pwedeng exercise na lagi mong ginagawa if everyday ka nag-work out. Basically, yung patuloy-tuloy na stress na yon doon sa mga elbow and knee na areas ninyo, that could cause it to darken. And isa pang very interesting thing about fades, yung cause nito actually does not involve yung melanin or yung nagpapadark na pigment sa skin natin. And that's the exact reason why naiiba siya doon sa mga previous natin na pinag-usapan because hindi gagana sa kanya niya yung mga typical na brightening or lightening ingredients. So, iba dapat yung approach natin dito. And the first and best way to actually address itong darkening of elbows and knees natin due to fades is to, of course, reduce yung stress na nai-experience ng mga areas na to. So, syempre, that means avoiding yung mga positions na sobrang nasa stress yung elbows or yung knees mo. But I'm sure meron dyang mga iba part talaga ng trabaho nila na masa stress yung elbows and yung knee area nila. In that case, maybe you should try using or investing in mga elbow or knee pads. Para at least hindi siya masyadong stress and wala masyadong friction na experience yung area. And also, speaking of friction, kasi very common to na ginagawa kapag nag-darken yung elbows or yung knees, do not scrub these areas. Kasi syempre yung scrub, kapag kinukuskus mo siya sa skin mo, syempre friction pa rin yun. So that might even cause your elbows and knees to get darker. So that's actually the worst thing that you can do. So take note of yung number one na dapat mong gawin, make sure to reduce yung stress or yung friction na na-experience ng areas na to. And then, kapag nagawa nyo na yun, then we can look for products that can address this. And studies show na ang mga best ingredients to use to help improve yung appearance ng fades sa 
elbows, or sa knees are gonna be two ingredients. So first is the ingredient lactic acid. And yes, na mention natin to kanina. This is the only ingredient na na mention natin kanina that will work for this specific skin condition. And yes, itong product na mention ko kanina, you can also use this because this does have lactic acid. If you want, you can also use your exfoliating serums na merong AHAs or lactic acid. Make sure na medyo mataas yung percentage na meron niya. Mga 10 to 12%, that's very ideal. But aside from lactic acid, number two is another ingredient. And this one is actually my personal preference sa ganitong mga skin conditions. It's the ingredient urea. Ang urea kasi guys, is very similar sa lang lactic acid. It also helps exfoliate the skin very gently. But at the same time, it also helps hydrate and nourish the skin. Ang difference ng urea is it's actually much gentler and it's available in much higher percentages. So if you need any recommendations for body care products na merong urea, I have two suggestions for you. Yung isa kapag marami kang budget and then yung isa kapag medyo mas mababa yung budget mo. So first, kung marami kang budget, I recommend this one from Eucerin. This is their Urea Repair Plus Cream with 30% urea. And then, kung medyo mas mababa naman yung budget mo, I also like this one from Shiseido. This is their Urea 10% Cream. So I'll be showing you the consistency of both products starting with this one from Eucerin. And actually, ito guys, notice nyo, gel cream consistency lang siya. Spread natin to and as you can see, it will blend very easily onto the skin and very lightweight yung product na to. And like I mentioned a while ago guys, this has 30% urea which is a really nice percentage. Yung sa study kasi na nakatulong yung urea dun sa dark elbows and knees, 40% yung ginamit nila. Pero yun, prescription na kasi yun. So of course, yung 40% is going to be much more effective. Pero kung wala kayong access sa derm right now and you just need a product over the counter, itong kay Eucerin is a really good option. And ito, aside from the fact na nalighten niya yung color ng elbows ko, this also really helps with, again, yung pache-pache ng bumps or yung KP na na-experience minsan dito sa elbow. Actually, hindi ko alam kung KP yun or parang ringworm kasi di ba parang merong ganun din. Pero in my experience, nawawala siya when I use this cream in this area. Pero yun, ang thing lang about this is medyo mahal nga siya. If I'm not mistaken, this is around mga 1.3 to 1.4. Dami rin kasi nilang mga magagandang ingredients na nilagay dito. They put ceramides and other moisturizers ingredients na high quality talaga. Siyempre kasi user in yan, medyo well-researched talaga yung mga ingredients na nilalagay nila. And in fairness naman dito, kahit medyo mahal siya, hindi siya mabilis maubos kasi yung amount naman na ilalagay mo, medyo konti lang kung dito mo lang naman siya ilalagay. Although for conditions like fades, studies show na yung pinaka-effective na times per day na ilalagay mo to would be two times a day. So I would recommend putting it sa morning and sa gabi. Pero kahit naman ganun, very small lang naman yung amount ng product na kailangan mo dito and a little goes a long way. Plus yung app applicator pa niya is very precise. So, hindi ka unnecessarily biglang parang masasobrahan ng paglagay ng product. Pero if ito, masyado siyang mahal sa inyo, we do have the other option here. This one is from Shiseido. And ito naman, tatry ko siya sa kabilang side ng elbows ko. And this one, guys, it's a bit more of a light cream, as you can see. Pero kahit na medyo cream texture siya, may kita nyo, guys, medyo mabilis pa rin naman siya mag-blend sa skin. It just feels a bit more nourishing, pero honestly, same-same lang din siya. Ito naman, medyo mas affordable siya. This is just a around the 400 to 500 price range for, I think, mga 60 ml if I'm not mistaken. Pwede na, medyo same range sila nung Quick FX na CeraBoost lotion. Pero yung lotion kasi na yun, that's 100 ml already. So technically, medyo mas mura yun. But honestly, this one, medyo mas prefer ko talaga siya for the elbows and the knees. So it's really up to you if you want na mas nabibili siya sa mga physical stores and medyo mas accessible yung price niya, then do go for Quick FX. Pero kung usually, bumibili ka naman online and you don't mind paying just a little bit more for a product na, in my opinion, medyo mas superior siya compared to the lotion, then this is also a really, really good option for you. Now, just one last thing about fades though. Take note guys, medyo matagal lang siya before mag-fade talaga. So it can take a few weeks up to a few months before mawala yung parang darkening nung elbows and nung knees ninyo. Depending on kung gaano na kalala yung stress or yung friction na na-experience niya on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, usually ako, ang nangyayari sa akin is gumagamit lang ako ng isang tube ng mga products na to and by the time na uubos ko na yung tube, medyo nagre-resolve na yung darkening. Pero guys, what I would recommend is if nakatapos na kayo ng isang tube and wala pa rin kayo nakikitang masyadong difference, that's when I would suggest you address an expert. Punta na kayo sa isang board-certified dermatologist kasi baka kailangan yun ng mga stronger treatments or parang mga creams with stronger
lower percentages of urea or lactic acid in them para mas mabilis yung results na makikita nyo. And last but not the least, we now move on to our final step in this body brightening routine. One of the most important steps and ito actually gagawin mo lang siya during the daytime. And actually, itong step na to, very very important siya, non-negotiable siya, kailangan niya siyang gawin, especially if yung area na nagda-darken sa inyo is itong neck area, yung arms, and yung legs. And this step is of course to use the very important sunscreen. So kung na-notice nyo yung mga minention kong parts are yung neck, yung arms, and yung legs, yun kasi yung mga parts na usually na-expose sa UV rays ng araw. And as with every part of our skin that is exposed to the sun's UV rays, it is of course important to protect it. Lalong-lalo na kung skin brightening yung gold mo. Kasi nga, and lagi itong sinasabi ng mga dermatologists, walang kwenta yung ginagamit mong mga body brightening treatments kung hindi mo naman ipaprotect yung skin mo from the sun in the first place. Kasi yun yung number one talaga na nakaka-discolor ng skin. For those na nanggaling sa beach or nagbilad sa araw, isipin ninyo, yun nga yung nag-cause ng pag-darken or pag-discolor ng skin nyo, ba? Diba? So dapat, if you want to brighten it, kailangan mo muna i-protect or else, magda-darken lang siya nang magda-darken. So the sunscreen that I'll be using is, of course, a very familiar sunscreen kung lagi kang nasa Watsons. And I also mentioned this already in my best body care products in Watsons na video. It's the Biore Aqua UV Water Gel. And actually, ito, I use this for all occasions and all purposes, whether pang everyday, pang beach, pang workout. Ito kasi, bukod sa high protection siya, this also does have water resistance. So of course, very important kapag pawisin ka. And ito guys, actually, you can also use this as a face sunscreen. So kunyari, nakalimutan mo yung face sunscreen mo, pero may dala kang body sunscreen, then you can also use this as that. So ganyan lang yung nilalagay ko. And what I like about this is, as you can see, medyo white siya sa simula, pero when you spread it onto the skin, again, para magic lang talaga. It stays true to yung pangalan niya na watery gel and nagiging clear siya. This one also, mabins lang siya i-blend and my favorite thing about this is hindi rin greasy or heavy yung feeling niya. Alam niyo guys, hindi ko pa rin alam kung bakit hanggang ngayon yung reason ng iba kung bakit hindi sila nagsa-sunscreen is sobrang sticky, sobrang heavy and sobrang hindi siya comfortable sa skin kasi ang dami ng mga sunscreens talaga in the market that are comfortable on the skin. Mang ilang beses ko na ata to sinabi but gone are the day na sobrang bigat at nakaka-white cast yung sunscreen. Na actually, dati sobrang tamad na tamad ako maglagay ng sunscreen sa body kasi akala ng maraming tao kailangan mo talagang i-spread siya sa buong katawan mo. And hindi naman, kailangan mo lang siya i-spread doon sa mga parts ng katawan mo na exposed sa sun. So kunyari naka-t-shirt ako, nandito lang ilalagyan ko. And then kunyari naka-shorts ako then yung part lang ng legs ko na exposed sa araw. Kung tinatamad ako mag-sunscreen sa legs, ang gagawin ko is magsusunod ako ng pants. So yun lang siya guys. Honestly, it's not that hard. Usually, ang nilalagyan ko lang talaga ito and then magpapans ako and then tapos na. And actually, speaking of tapos na, ayun na siya guys. That is the end of our body brightening routine. And again, for those wondering, you can do these steps either sa morning or sa gabi except for sunscreen of course kasi wala namang araw sa gabi. Diba? And if you did find any of the products in this video interesting or gusto mo pa sila makita, as usual, naglagay na ako ng mga shop links and product links in the description box below para hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin sila. So I hope this video was able to help yung mga body brightening concerns ninyo. And also, if you do want more body care products na very accessible lang, mabibili mo lang sila sa mga Watson stores, then you can check out this video here. And also, if you do want more sunscreens that you can use on the body and on the face, I will leave a video for that here. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!